What's going on guys? It's Young Wealth. Now today I was actually watching one of my XLM videos right and I was actually reading the comment section right and a dude said that he was holding an L L XLM for around two to four years and he's tired of it. He's been holding it way too long and he hasn't seen a lot of profit now. A lot of people right now, they are giving up on L. I keep saying L. They are giving up on XLM, right? And what I want to say to those people, right, is nobody can force you to hold or to sell. Nobody can force you to buy or sell. But one thing I want you guys to understand is when you're holding these coins, ask yourself, why did you initially invest into this coin? Was it just because you were trying to make a quick gain? If you were just trying to make a quick gain with XLM, then it's actually reasonable and it's understandable why you want to sell because I'm going to be real, XLM is not one of the best multipliers you're going to find in this market short term or even in the next year or so. Now, the reason I got into XLM is because first of all, initially, I heard about the technology you could bring to the world. Now, of course, we all want to make money quickly. We want to make them quick exits. But I'm looking at XLM like, okay, it might be like an NVIDIA stock where it weren't having recognition at the start to begin with. But out of nowhere, it just started increasing in value over the over a decade um landscape, okay, over a decade horizon. But people... When when I say that to people and say, oh, investing into LSS for 10 years, they laugh. They will literally send laughing emojis in the comment section. They will literally say, um, you got to wait 10 years because everyone in crypto is like, we're, we're greedy. Everyone in crypto don't really appreciate how much a 50% move is. In the stock market, they appreciate these sh these small moves that we take for granted. So when I say I'm, I would invest into XLM for the next five years, I really mean it now. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm not saying, okay, you should invest. I, I, this is per, this is my personal channel where I tell you my personal st strategies, right? My how strategic I am, right? My personal strategy is XLM is not going to be a coin that I rely on for the biggest gains and the life changer gains next 2025 bull run, but it is a coin that I will actually add money to monthly throughout the bear market. And throughout the next four year bear market we actually have just to accumulate and keep accumulating because i feel like once this technology is used in the real world it's like that's when we have fun time with else xlm that's when we actually have xlm increasing in value and actually shocking the markets and disrupting the actual economy and why do i say you can disrupt the financial markets is because like it's being used to improve the financial markets how would they it's like how is the market's going to react to L's xlm's price i keep saying l how's xlm going to react when it starts to be utilized for cross-border payments i think it's going to react to the upside i think it's going to react to the upside and the reason i say that is because like if a coin is being used every day for transactions peer-to-peer -peer, uh, b2b whatever business to business or personal to personal right it's bound to have a lot more liquidity in it and it's bound to have a lot more recognition. So just off the recognition alone, billionaire investors will be attracted to buy that, but it's going to take some time. That's why I'm not worried about what XLM does in the short term, not even 2025. Like this is the coin I'm literally setting aside and it's a more of a long-term play. Like Warren Buffett has stocks that he's been investing in for the, for the past 40 to 50 years. Do you understand that? He has stocks that he's been investing in for the past 30 years. This is a kind of sometimes you play the slow game, but you also play the game where you can get quick quick, quick X's with other coins. But right now I'm in both. I have my feet in both ponds. It's like I have some coins where I know in 2025 they're going to do 50 to 100 X's. Then I have XLM where I'm thinking it could possibly do a 15 to 20 X, but I would not be disappointed if it don't perform because I would just hold it long term. Like I'm, XLM is not my main bag. I'm sorry, like, if XLM is your main bag and you think that's the main multiplier, that's where you're making a mistake because this is a coin that hasn't got a narrative yet. But in the next five to ten years, it should have the narrative. That's what I'm waiting on. So I just have to make this quick video. I was going to make it a bit longer, but I'm mad tired. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to have a little rest and I'm going to keep making more videos tomorrow. And we're going to keep working, right? Because this channel, I'm making six videos a day. I'm on my, like, 50th video in, in the past nine days right now so i appreciate all the support appreciate all the subscribers and new subscribers i appreciate the likes and the comments with that being said guys just remember the mindset and ask yourself why did you start investing in the first place 
a lot of people they want to make a 20x overnight which is okay but xlm is not going to bring you that but xlm is a coin that it's not going to go to zero overnight and it won't go to ten dollars overnight but what i think i will see when i zoom out into the 10 year graph 10 years from now is a very nice just a nice rally you know what I'm saying a nice rally to the upside and it's to the point where like when it comes to lcx's development and the partnerships it's like that's a, that's a whole different kind of worms that i don't want to open up in this video because it is it gets deep like our our free connections um the world bank connections um all of that type of stuff it's like they are they are connected with in uh, in many cases they're connected with the government so knowing they're connected with the government and knowing they're connected with people that know about SWIFT and they know what is utilized for cross-border payments in today's world, it's like they already have the replacement set in stone. But they probably already have the replacement and we don't even, like the government already knows about the stuff they're about to do 10 years from now. So for XLM to actually be utilized as a as a use of cross-border payments one day that that's enough for me to say i'm gonna take the risk of investing 200 dollars extra a month because that's all i have to do for the next four years if, if i want to get a decent amount of return off xlm when the bear market arrives again if xlm underperforms i'll just be adding 200 dollars a month that's literally it for four years and if you do the mathematics 200 dollars a month times four that's around 9.6k i think so it's like and if it 20x is it's to the point where like now we're talking about a token that is gonna be here for the next 20 to 50 years if crypto is alive for a long time that's the bet we're doing of course it's a gamble and this could all fail it's to the point where like i'm on a different time scale where i have my fast moon bags but I also have the place that I feel like can be here in the next decade, okay? So that's all I wanted to say on this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. And with that being said, that's all I really have to say on the video. Like, don't let people's comments actually dishearten you. Don't let people's comments actually make you sell your bag. If you want to sell your bag, make sure it's, a, it's out of your opinion. Make sure it's out of you wanted to sell your bag make sure like you made the initial decision and don't make it because a comment says it's not going to do well or a tweet says it's or a video says like make sure you made the decision yourself so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button hit the subscribe button and also do my patreon on the patreon we are actually learning how to invest we are learning how to get these 20 x's these 50 x's these 100 x's and we are to be in the group chat so if you join the page one you'll be in the group chat straight away so with that being said smash the like button hit the subscribe button i'm out